My name is Nicholas Bolden. I'm Professor for Materials Theory at the ETH Zurich. I work at the Hungerberg campus, so every morning at about 9 o'clock I take the Science City bus from Centrum out to Hungerberg and head to my office where I prepare for meeting with my research group and, and teaching my classes. So I spent 14 years as a professor at the University of California and then last January I um, interviewed and was offered the position of Materials Theory Chair at, at ETH Zurich. So as materials theorists, we design new materials with new functionalities that don't yet exist. And in this particular project, we're trying to make a material that combines favorable magnetic properties, ferromagnetism, with interesting electrical properties, actually ferroelectricity. And our difficulty is the atoms that are good for magnetism are not the atoms that are good for electrical properties. And so in this project, we're actually trying to combine two different types of atoms in the same material. Laptops today in general have two main types of materials, magnetic materials which store the information and electrical materials such as semiconductors which process the information. And our vision is that, that if we can, in a single material, combine both the magnetic and the electrical properties, then one component will be able to do both jobs. And this will lead obviously to reduction in size, to improved miniaturization, and also into um, energy savings, into, into much reduced power consumption. So my senior scientist, Frank Lichtenberg, is actually making materials. He's growing single crystals of the same kinds of compounds that we're working on in the theoretical part of the group. It's really fantastic for us to have this interplay between theory and experiment and to actually have right in the group the capability for making materials. And the feedback is really working both ways. We predict materials which are then made in the lab and then we characterize the materials and we find out what they do which then feeds back into the theory component to test whether we understood correctly what, we, what behaviors we were expecting. So today I was lucky enough to get half an hour with no appointments and managed to sneak out my office to do a little bit of rock climbing before lunch. First of all, I love being in the mountains and so I enjoy climbing and hiking and skiing. I think rock climbing is particularly special because it really focuses your attention. It completely clears your head when you're dangling on a rock face hundreds of meters above the valley floor and it makes it impossible to worry about anything else in your life. So now it's two o'clock and next in the day is my lecture, my, my class. This is um, Basics of Materials Physics, which I teach every week. And this week we're going to learn about a property called phonons. Yes, teaching is a really important part of, for me, um, of, of what makes my, my job a lot of fun. I think I, I wouldn't be happy in a research institute that wasn't a university. It's also intellectually challenging to think about how I learned some difficult concept and how to express that to facilitate somebody else's learning of it. We try to, as a group, we, we meet formally at least once a week and have a, a discussion where group members take turns to present their research and to discuss the problems that they're having with the whole group. It's also really a lot of fun to have um, to have a team of people around to discuss with. I think it, for, for me personally, I would not enjoy doing science so much just with a paper and pencil in the corner on, on my own. I very much enjoy the, the interpersonal aspect of, of discussing with my researchers. We're packing up now actually to go because I have a rehearsal tonight with a, a clarinet, piano, cello trio that I play with and we're rehearsing for a concert on, on Friday night of the Brahms clarinet trio. So one of my, my hobbies when I'm not, not in the lab is, is playing chamber music. I, I play the clarinet and this is, a, I think, a fantastic contrast to, to doing science. It, it's a different group of people. I, I play music with people who don't spend all day in the lab. I have already the best job in the world. I have, every day I get to work with fantastic students and work on research problems that I, I really love to do. So as a researcher, I think the most exciting new discovery would be a superconductor that conducts electricity without resistance at room temperature and to be able to understand enough about the properties of materials in order to design such behavior would be, would be fantastic. <laughs>